What's up guys? I actually was meaning to release this video about four or five months ago, but upon doing some research on it, turns out the camera that I was discussing actually was no longer in production, so I kind of scrapped it. However, with the release of the GoPro 11 and the new DJI Osmo Action 3, I figured what better time than to put this video out so I can compare why I believe one of those cameras is superior to the other. So without further ado, let's get into the video. What's up guys, today I'm going to go over what I believe to be the best camera out there for fishing videos. And honestly, there's only one feature that is lacking that would prevent it from being the actual perfect camera that is out there. And you'd be surprised to know that this camera is actually not a GoPro. So let's get into it. So the camera we have today is actually a DJI Osmo Action. They actually have a DJI Osmo Action 2, but to be honest, that thing kind of sucks. And I think that this camera is way better than the second iteration because of a couple different factors. Now, I'm not gonna get into all the specs of this camera because there's tons of videos on that. I'm going to specifically get into why I believe this camera is perfect for fishing. So the first thing is the price. This thing comes in at $200 and it is quite a steal considering what the capabilities are of this camera. You're able to get 4K 60 frames per second and also full HD up to 240 frames per second, which means you're gonna be able to get up to 10 times slow motion. And if you know me, I love slow motion. The fact that you can get that packed into a $200 camera is absolutely nuts. If you were to buy a brand new GoPro Hero 10, at minimum, you're gonna be spending $350 if you sign up for GoPro Plus. But if you don't sign up for GoPro Plus, you're probably gonna be spending upwards of $400 to $500, including accessories. Now, the second reason why I think this is one of the best cameras out there for fishing right now is simply because it works. My GoPro Hero 9 had a ton of issues when it came out, it was super buggy. I actually made a whole video on why I dislike the GoPro Hero 9. I'll leave that down in the description below if you wanna see what issues I had with it. But in essence, I had uh, problems with it recording audio. It had weird lines in my videos and the touch screen was just super laggy, super buggy, not responsive at all. However, this DJI Osmo Action, it just flat out works. The app with it works great, so I can sync it directly to my phone and be able to control the camera from my phone. That works. The touch screen on the back is super responsive. It's snappy. Whenever I press a button, I know that I'm gonna be able to get to the next screen. If you know how important that is, especially when you're fishing and around water, sometimes your hands get wet, sometimes the camera has moisture on it, and even still with that, the camera works and that's just huge because if you go out for a day of fishing and you're making content well if your camera doesn't work then you basically have just wasted a whole day of fishing and if you're like me and just really like to record your trips to be able to see um, how you did or just have a memorable experience by recording well if you go out and your camera doesn't work then you're basically screwed. And I spent numerous hours trying to troubleshoot, trying to see if GoPro support would help me. And unfortunately they wouldn't. I would hope to say that the brand new GoPro Hero 10 with its new processor wouldn't have the same issues, but I've heard of some overheating issues. And I will say the Osmo Action isn't perfect by any means, but I have never had the thought that I wanted to just go ahead and throw it into the Gulf of Mexico. Whereas with the GoPro Hero 9, I was very close to doing just that. In addition to the price and the fact that it just works, it's just a really solid platform. It has the same type of form factor as a GoPro. So any mounts that a GoPro would use, you could use with this Osmo Action. The accessories that uh, DJI has made to go with the Osmo Action are just really well fit together. The external microphone adapter is really cool and it's super inexpensive. It's only about 20 bucks. Whereas with the GoPro, you have to either buy a $70 media mod or like a $40 audio adapter that is super bulky if you wanna get decent external audio. Those three factors are why I believe that this is currently the best camera for fishing. However, there is one thing that GoPro software has that I wish this camera had, because if so, then this would definitively be the perfect camera for fishing videos. That feature is what GoPro likes to call their hindsight. Now what hindsight is essentially is it's a type of flashback recording. What that means is the camera is recording the entire time. However, it's only going to save the 
portion of video once you press the record button. So for instance, if I'm fishing for an hour and don't catch anything, with the current system on the Osmo Action, you'd either have a full hour of footage or if you have loop recording, you'd either have five minutes, 20 minutes, or an hour of just looped recording. What stinks about that is you're gonna have completely wasted footage taking up space on your SD card. And also in post-processing when you're editing your video, you're gonna have to sift through that hour of footage to see if anything actually happened. But with hindsight, that enables you to only actually save on your SD card footage you wanna keep. So you press the record button after you hook into a fish, it's gonna record 30 seconds in the past and then all of the fight of your fish so what that does, it's gonna free up space on your SD card because you're only going to have footage that actually has action and it's gonna speed up your process whenever you are editing your video because you're not gonna to have to sift through hours and upon hours of footage of you not catching fish, which for me happens a lot because I don't catch a lot of fish. So if the Osmo Action was able to implement or have a firmware upgrade to have the hindsight option, I believe it would be the perfect camera for fishing because of its form factor, its price, and the fact that it just plain works. Right now, the GoPro Hero 10 is a very popular camera, but with its overheating issues and the fact that it still might be a little buggy, that just doesn't give me much confidence to be able to bring a camera like that out fishing where you know my YouTube livelihood depends on it and be confident that it's going to work. That's why I switched over to the Osmo Action in the first place. So let me know what you guys think about this video. What are you guys using as your current camera for fishing? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you have any tips or tricks on how to be a better filmer when it comes to fishing videos, definitely leave that down in the comments below as well. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can see more content like this. And until the next video, I hope you're able to get out on the water and catch some fish.